it's Nancy still on vacation today is the 22nd um, so the the um, item I want to make today is inspired by paper art Alessandra um, her video probably back late spring early summer I guess I saw it and then uh, more recently she had an updated project on um, Instagram so I will share the link for her video in the description below so first I want to show you this die and it's it's a 3d impreslet it's Sizzix 665016 I just got this um, on Amazon. So, um, I when you're when you're using this, if you're using it on your Big Shot, make sure you um, follow the instructions. You don't need both both. Um, yeah, what is that called? Cutting pad. You don't need both cutting pads. You just use one. Um, if you're using a big shot like I am. So I used a piece of gold paper and I want to make this gun gunge. I want to make this grungy. <laughs> but I used a lot of other papers as well. This is a metallic silver, but it's uh, sort of a, a matte silver rather than a highly polished gold like this one. I also glued together two sheets of music paper, put that through. I like how that turned out. Um, this was a book page, a, um, a fly leaf. I like how it turned out, um, but you, some of the core of the paper is showing through, so this is perfect for grungy. Uh, Christmas, or uh, cardstock, cardstock cardstock. This was a uh, flyleaf I put in upside down, <laughs> so it's white. It's a nice matte white too, so I kind of like that. And then I managed to get the next two in the right orientation. So uh, um, I framed this little image of Santa Claus, but I want to show you how I got the, um, the frame um, kind of distressed. So I'm just going to grab a scrap of paper here yeah maybe I don't need all of that okay so I have my sanding sponge and I'm just going to go lightly over the embossed parts. So the really high profile parts, the gold will come right off and leave you the white core. You do as much as you like or as little as you like. And then I'm just going to go around the edge. Just to knock off a little more metallic. And then I've got a uh, dark brown. And I'm going to ink that up. So the, the white marks are even more distressed. That makes sense? Okay. So the next step I can um, 
grab some scrap paper here. Now I've saved this part so I can sort of uh, uh, draw a line, you know, a quarter of an inch outside of that. And then find a pair of scissors. Now, I could use a whole picture, like I could do that, and I probably will. Um, but right now I'm going to just do a background. Now, in terms of an image, maybe I've got something in here I could use. So this is a vintage uh, Denison seal. <laughs> Woo! In the back, it's marked on the back, Denison USA. Um, I could use an ordinary Christmas seal. I don't like that with the background. A stamp again, not liking that background particularly. like a die cut. No, that looks silly. But you get the idea. Um... A little image like that's nice. I think I'm going to go with this one first. that over the way. I just want to ink this edge.
Okay. So now I want to do this one. Which frame will I use? Maybe I'll try this white one, this really matte white one, and give this a little ink. Just doing the edge. Um, you won't see all of the inked part, but you'll see some of it. Teeny tiny bit off here. Um, I'm not sure if the silver one will will work or not. in terms of taking some of the silver off. Yep. more difficult to see. But the ink shows up more. I'm going to cut off whatever this flag thing is. I'm going to use that picture. Now, the way that uh, uh, Paper Art Alessandra zhuzhed things up a bit was she made tags um, or journal cards. So 
So I'm going to choose, hopefully, something that'll work with. Okay, I'm going to go with the pinstripe here. Maybe not. Oops. So the tag I'm going to cut. Let's measure. About three by four and a half. Or I could even do three and a half by five, but I think I'm gonna three by four and a half. Well, let me finish this part first, I guess. Anybody see what I did? Oh, there it is. I, uh, stopped into giant tiger last night. I don't, I don't know if all there's giant tigers all over Canada or if it's just 
an Ontario thing. Um, but it, it's like a discount department store. And they had um, I'm going to take a half an inch off. It's a little long for me. They had gingerbread fudge. Oh my word. It was outstanding. It's it's so good it's dangerous. So if you have a giant tiger, go do yourself a favor and get yourself some gingerbread fudge. I'm not happy with how the ink was depositing itself. There, that seems better. Now, I would like a little something to collage with. Maybe I just want this one side so I can read the words. I like this. Cute little journal card, eh? Problem is with these wallpapers, the back is white. Now I could add something else to that if I wanted to. I 
bird snippet. Ooh. Maybe one of these. See if there's one that says something about Santa Claus. There's one that says for Santa Claus. Maybe not. Anything else interesting here? Not really. I think that's good. Okay. Now, let's try something else. book page. So I'm going to glue this page to the front of this page so that the back will be op open for journaling. this down. I'm going to cut it to three by four.
wondering if a piece of lace would be nice. Let's give this one a shot. I'm going to uh, sew around this tag. Okay. I just noticed that I have the frame upside down, but I don't think that matters. I don't think that's going to work. going to have to use Fabri-Tac. Come on. Okay, um, going a little long here, so I'm going to pause the video and work away at a few more, and then I'll come back and do a, a flip through of <laughs> what I ended up making. Okay, here's what I got. So this one, this is a regular tag. I covered it with this gold fabric that I got the other day in my, I guess a couple weeks ago now, <laughs> in a thrift haul. Um, I sanded the picture a little too, just to sort of, um, so it would be more accepting of ink. And I like how that came out. It looks, it looks like, uh, like the varnish on an old painting is cracked. Here I've covered this regular tag with, uh, 
some music paper and some netting. There's the one we made together. Another one we made together. And then this one, um, again, I just kind of scratched the surface of the image. And then I just made a few that I haven't got on tags yet. They might become clusters or something else. That one we did together. This one, I was going to put a little fussy cut of a, a robin, but I didn't like it. So we'll have to try something else. Anyway, thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you thought this was interesting. Um, and you maybe if you uh, have this die or another frame die, you'll give this a shot. And uh, yeah, take care. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye.